just a quick little uh, shout out bit before the video starts guys uh, the first one goes out to golden fm um, a brilliant brilliant youtuber got millions of billions <laughs> more uh, followers than i have um top bloke though he's, he's really helped me out getting some followers and getting my videos viewed um so yeah if you get, drop him a follow on twitter here's his obviously his twitter page and um then here's his youtube page as well uh, some brilliant videos on there um does some amazing series the uh football experiments one's a, a fantastic one and um i personally really enjoy his everton saves and his um journeyman paul save i really enjoy that he hasn't done it for a while but it's a cracking save and then there is the fm guru uh, i'm not going to embarrass myself by trying to say his name because i'm sure i'll say it wrong um but yeah he's doing a fantastic guru fc uh, save at the minute um so yeah drop him a follow um, he's always been helpful getting my videos out there as well and uh, here's his youtube page as well uh, some cracking videos on there the guru fc series is looking really good um i haven't had a chance to look at the rest of them yet but i'm sure they're as good as that one um so yeah um give these guys a follow on twitter and subscribe to them on youtube guys hi guys and welcome to the third installment of the billionaire project um for those of you who's not seen the first two videos uh, you should check them out um basically went into the editor made deportivo la Coruña one of the uh, most well-known clubs in the world and gave them massive finances sugar daddy uh, a new chairman with billions and trillions of pounds in his back pocket to see if we can buy success um so that that's the uh, you know the ins and outs of it so we'll go into the match after the last one which was also sooner that you guys saw and we played Rale, uh, Rale Valladolid and beat them 2-0 um, with goals from Falcao and Drente Espanyol we 4-0 um, in their own backyard two for Hamsik, one for Falcao and one for Sami Etu um, we then went on to play Malaga who beat 1-0 with a goal from Hamsik. He's been in cracking scoring form. Then a real shock came up next with a 1-0 defeat at Sociedad before Atletico Madrid. Um, two goals from Schneider and one from Koke against his former club and Neymar getting sent off in that one. We then beat Valencia 3-0 in the last game, two from Hamsip again, and one from Iago Basirio. Basiro, sorry. Uh, he's a young uh, striker who's come through the ranks I think at um, Deportivo so quickly into the transfers we'll show you who we brought in in January so yes guys the oh sorry <laughs> yep uh, this guy here Mark Manisa from uh, Barcelona Koke from Atletico um, Garay from uh, Benfica, Sacco from PSG and Gareth Bale Tottenham, I'll just say you Maniska here he is um, good little player. I like the look of him uh, from Barcelona they've been playing him in the last few weeks before he joined us uh, so yeah I'm, I'm hoping he's going to do a decent job for us, he's the backup at the minute but uh, you know he's a good player, we'll just have a look at the stages of the league here we go and as you can see, Real Madrid and Barcelona are walking away from us quite quickly. Uh, we've got 43 points and Athletic Bilbao on 44. Yeah, as expected, Barcelona and Real Madrid um, walking away with things at the top. Uh, didn't sorry, <laughs> something caught my attention there. I don't, I don't really know why anybody would expect anything else. I'm just going to go to the game, guys, and pause it to the next live game. Uh, against Granada. Pow, look at that. Magic. Well, here we are. Game day. Granada at home. These bit of 3 0 earlier on the season. I'm just going to go through and do these team talks while I'm uh, babbling on at you. Let's get on with the game. When it starts. Here we go. There we go. 
So yeah, here we are then guys, trying to get our revenge on Granada for beating us 3-0. Oh, oh, he <laughs> took lead quite quickly there. Um, Gareth Bale joined us, £60 million. Pounds. Um, I want to add as well, I got an interesting comment made on my um, YouTube page about overpaying for players. Um, like, you know, £80 million pounds for Neymar and whatnot. Oh, hang on a minute. Falcao. Oh, Falcao, get in. Get in, Falcao. Let's just have a quick little look at the 3D when it pops up. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, sorry about that, guys. My uh, my computer decided to skip through it there for no reason. Uh, yeah, so what I was saying was I've had a few comments made about... Well, one comment, sorry, made about uh, over price players and whatnot. Oh, oh I thought we got another one there. Um, yeah, I have overpaid for the players, but it, it comes as a natural sort of path of things that because we have such a huge reputation and budget... Oh, oh. Uh, we have such a huge reputation and a huge budget. Teams that are overpricing players. Luis Enrique at Liverpool I was going to bring in as a backup left-back. Um, he was worth £7 million. Liverpool kept on negotiating to the point where they wanted £56 million for him. Now, I, I like Luis Enrique. He's, an, he's a good player. He's, he's a decent left-back, but he's not worth £56 million. No way. And Gareth Bale, he wanted to leave Tottenham um, because they're in the bot. I think they're about 16th in the Premier League. Well, hang on a minute. Schneider... Oh, 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 Gareth Bale. Oh, it's disallowed. Oh, just as I was talking about it, that would have been, uh, that would have been spooky, wouldn't it? Yeah, Gareth Bale wanted to leave Tottenham. They put him up for sale. But no matter how hard I tried, they wouldn't accept less than £60 million, which was ridiculous. But, you know, I thought, well, we've got that much money. I can kind of afford to, uh, you know, to um, to pay it, really. Sorry, some things just popped up on the bottom of my screen. I don't really like things popping up on the bottom of my screen when I'm doing videos. Very inconsiderate. But, um, yeah, back to this match. We're, we're doing well. 1-0 against a team who had... Oh, Schneider. Falcao. Boom! 2-0. <laughs> Falcao again. A beautiful little finish. See if 3D will work this time, shall we? Oh, Schneider. Look at that beautiful ball. Oh, and what a composed finish from Falcao. He's such a top player, isn't he? He's such an amazing player. Um, yeah, we're doing well now in the league. We've been picking... Apart from the Raul Sassiadad um, mishap where we got beat 1-0. Um, and we absolutely battered them for 90 minutes. Threw everything but the kitchen sink at them. Just couldn't get a goal on the day. Their goal was pretty damn awesome as well. It was quite a decent finish from their... Uh, their striker, there it is on the counter attack. Here we are, half time now. So let's have a, a quick little doodle over at the uh, thing. I'll do it actually. Okay, and get the second half underway. I don't mess around too much team talk wise, especially with this team. I mean, sometimes you'll tell them one thing and they'll be chuffed to bits and then you'll tell them the same thing again a couple of weeks later and they'll be peed off to the max they're an unpredictable bunch but yeah I've been quite pleased really with the way the season's gone so far apart from the opening few games and a few silly uh, defeats and one to Granada um, earlier on the season the one to Cersei Dad it's gone quite well and um, we're settling into this new um, four three two one sort of system that I'm playing, or four three three, I suppose in a way that it is. Go get off! Oh no, bail that was. Um, yeah, you know they're fitting into the system quite well, so um, getting used to it as well. And Hamsik's been an absolute revelation, scoring goals for us. He uh, he takes all the penalties. He's missed two, but he's scored about five or six, I think. We get a lot of penalties um, given to us. I don't know if that's because my players are diving or not. But um, hang on a minute. Let's do. Okay. Dominguez. And. Gray. 
for skirt. Gorgeous can come off and Manisa can come off. Sorry about that. Yeah, we've, uh, with the ham six been, uh, sorry, I, we've been getting a lot of penalties against, as I was saying, wasn't I? I've gone past the ham six bit. And uh, I don't know if our players are diving or what, but we're getting a hell of a lot of penalties at the minute. Um, normally it's Falcao being absolutely polax from behind in the penalty area because um, he's, he's such a handful uh, I've been really impressed with him um, Neymar's suspended that's why he's not in the team at the minute he's not got many goals now he's only got four but his work rate and his assists have been superb he's, he's done a lot like assist wise and what not uh, to help us out I thought I'd taken Hamsik off Oh, now I'm taking cake out, aren't I? Oh, bollocks. <laughs> I've got no, no more subs. Well, swap those two out. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I've. I, yeah, that'll work. Yeah. Ham seat, I'll put me because I've run out of substitutes. That'll work. I have faith in this. We might concede a goal, but I have faith in it. Puff and Gray. Oh, they're in here. Oh, that was a beautiful goal. That was beautiful. Benitez there. He just turned them away and El Arabi just running in and tapping it home. Let's have a look at that on the 3D. And there's Benitez into the area. Then watch it. Little turn, dink. And that was poor defending. He drew three defenders in there, leaving El Arabi with a space. But this should be it now, guys. This should be the last last or last but one highlight as we're in the 91st minute but yeah at least you, you know you've seen us win again you've seen us score and you've seen us concede what's he doing here that's it guys that's the end of that match anyway Falcao's ran and ragged so I just want to say again guys thank you very very much for watching um, and taking the time to leave your comments and stuff uh, for the old videos it's always appreciated and um, I'm just going to quickly bop through this. Uh, oh, that's really pissed them all off, hasn't it? <laughs> but yeah, um, uh, thanks very much, guys, again for watching. Uh, we really appreciate it. Oh, I've really pissed them off. Um, I'm just going to quickly zoop out and show you the league table on the little uh, little screen. So there's the lead table at the side there. 46 points. They've got 61 Real Madrid. They're going to walk this league Real Madrid. Uh, I think Barcelona will struggle to catch them. I know it's not many points, but I think they'll struggle to catch them. But yeah, sorry guys. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, really appreciate it, as I've said a few times. Any likes, subscribes, comments, ideas, suggestions that you want to pass on to me, please feel free to do so. I'm not going to poo-poo anybody's ideas or anything. Um, all ideas are welcome there's never a wrong idea in my opinion you know each to their own everybody has their own way of doing things it's just nice to hear what other guys think I might possibly should do in the future but thank you guys again <laughs> I've said that about 50 times now but it, I do mean it and um, please keep a look out for the next video uh, which I'll probably do at the end of the season last game of the season um, and you can see where we finish up and then after that we'll go into the next season with transfers and whatnot. Uh, hopefully we'll be in a European place come the end. Thanks guys.